Oh, put me down. Somebody put me down. <coughs> oh, for real, though. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh. <coughs> Unfortunately, the rest of this video isn't a joke, though. The lab results came back in, and once again, uh, I tested positive. Yep. Now, uh, I know what everyone is thinking. Cumby, you've been all over social media, making jokes about the coronavirus, acting like it's no big deal, you know. Some might even say that this is karma for all the jokes I've made about the coronavirus. But to that, I say I'm sorry. That's just what a comedian does. We take a tragedy and we find the humor in it, you see. And you have to admit, in a cosmic sense, this is pretty funny. The comedian dying. One final laugh. It's the sort of irony you'd see in an Oscar Wilde play. And now it's real. You're welcome. You see, I contracted the coronavirus ironically, so it's all good. And hey, I mean, at least I'm looking kind of fresh in my COVID-19 reveal video. Did you see Idris Elba's video? Man, he looked like such a dork. He looked like he was about to cry. And why was he talking in a British accent? Had his girl all up in the background, looking all sad. Man, I'm just hoping she sees my video. And she can see how a real man handled this thing. But, uh, yeah. She's gonna be watching my video on her phone while Idris is coughing up a lung in the other room. Yeah. Idris is gonna be coughing somewhere and he's gonna hear damn this white boy's sexy control your girl idris control your girl or you're gonna lose your girl yeah a fine chocolate queen like that need a real man and we both got the virus now we're both paused on this thing so we're on even ground as far as i'm concerned Two COVID-positive boys just fighting over a fine chocolate honey to kick off the 20s. I'm liking the sound of this thing. Yeah. Let's go. Coronavirus, let's go. <coughs> but yeah. Uh, worst case scenario, uh, we share her. Bring her into the virus world. Our world. Give her the gift, as I like to call it. Yeah. Just hit me on the text if you're interested, Idris. I only got 45 DMs on deep on Twitter before you blocked me. Hit me with that block, so, uh, yeah. Just let me know. Um, but, yeah. I think it's going to be all right. Uh, I'm going to be all right. I'm not too worried here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat this thing anyway. I'm about 90 to 95% sure that I'll beat this thing. And how do I know that, you ask? Well, it's simple. Because uh, I know there's these little talking cartoon creatures voiced by Will Smith living inside of me right now who fight all my germs in hand-to-hand -hand combat. If you've ever seen that movie Osmosis Jones, then uh, <clears throat> you'll know what I'm talking about. Knowing that there are these tiny superheroes inside of me taking care of it all right now makes me realize that nothing can kill me. I actually participated in the coronavirus challenge and uh, 
licked the local toilet seat at my local gay bar. I was there doing journalism. Yeah, though, the, uh, the old coronavirus, it got me here. Your old pal, B.G. Cumbie, struck down in his prime. I'm all out of toilet paper here, too. Uh, I actually wasted all my toilet paper TPing houses earlier this week. When I heard about the shortage, uh, I don't know, I just thought it would be the perfect chance to catch people off guard. Uh, just like, I don't know, look at the grapefruits on this guy, B.G. Cumbie. It's the apocalypse and we're running out of toilet paper. And this guy's going around TPing houses. Basid. 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 This white boy sexy. Yeah. I don't know. Uh just I'm just thinking about going out tonight and uh licking some more toilets. I mean, why not? I already have it, so it's not like I can get it again. I could probably collect so much clout right now if I just strapped in my scuba suit and hopped into AOC's septic tank. I don't know, if she just, like, drops some logs on me or whatever, that'd be cool. My plan for surviving the white male FEMA camps when she becomes prez in the future is to, uh, just hide in her septic tank in my gimp suit and become a human gumpy. Uh, I heard a news story about a Florida man, you know. He lived in this septic tank in a in a gimp suit for over six years. Uh, fun fact, the human body can actually function on a diet solely consisting of politician steamer logs. <sighs> yeah. I mean, the politicians, they feed us BS every single day anyway. Am I right, folks? So, uh, what if we started just literally eating their poop, just human guppy style? Yeah, I don't know. That would show them. I don't know. This is the extent of my ideas for saving Western civilization so far. As you can see, it's not really going too well. I'm, I'm laying here dying. I'm dying, my nibbles. You ever see that Viper album? You know, I'm dying, my man. That's the vibe I'm on right now. Just, just want to throw on some old Viper. Down my last meal of AOC's poop logs. Get one last locker room rub and tug from Idris Elba's girl. And slowly drift into the abyss for my final fa farewell. Take my exit, uh, exit stage left, the comedian taking his final bow, you know, gotta love the irony, and truth be told, I'm, I love every second of this yummy, heckin' Keen Arena Oscar Wilde drum com, but for reals though, <clears throat> for reals though, uh, dying is kind of litty, yeah. You just get to lay around in bed all day, looking all sad and coughing. It's kind of aesthetic. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run, the night goes on as I'm fading away. <sighs> Remember that? Emo music from uh, 2007? Yeah. Man, I'm getting old. Hey, though, look at the bright side. Uh... <laughs> At least if I die now, uh, I'm not going to get any older now that, uh, 
now that I'm dying, uh, I can be a hip young teenager forever. Yeah. He was a skater boy. He said, see you later, boy. Man, those were the good old days. Uh, 2014. Uh, back when people were just people, you know. Not a phone in sight, but yeah. This isn't my death video, by the way. Uh, my my real deathbed video. Uh, in all seriousness, uh, I'm probably not going to die here. So like I've said before, uh, the cartoon characters that live in me are going to beat the virus for me. So, yeah. My deathbed video that I have planned will still be happening uh, 60 to 70 years in the future from now, or, yeah, whenever I'm gonna die for real, you know. You see, my YouTube channel, it's a literary epic. Uh, it's a hundred years in the making. It's all leading to one final punchline that I have planned for my final video when I'm elderly. It's gonna be really, really, really funny, uh gonna be a heckin' yummy Keenarino, uh, trust me guys, uh, it'll be worth the wait, uh, anyway, that about wraps it up here, uh, I'm not actually bedridden, because I'm a young, hip, zoomer teenager, my body is strong and resilient, and I'm not actually experiencing any symptoms, I'm what they call, uh, asymptomatic. This is all for dramatic effort. Uh, I'm still a showman, even when I'm dying. Even if this apocalypse really pops off, I'm still going to be shucking and jiving, cracking jokes like I'm Ray Romano in a haunted house. Hey, what was that, a ghost? Uh, yeah. Then he says something funny. I don't know. Uh, <coughs> I'm sure you've all seen the show. Uh, Everybody Loves Raymond, only on CBS and Netflix. But in the Netflix version, uh, they deep faked Robert out of the show uh, and digitally replaced him with a bisexual WOC woman of color. But yeah. That's it for this evening's comedy. Uh if I pulled the if I pulled through this thing, uh I'll be back next week with an all new episode. If not, then I dare any one of y'all to come to my funeral and heckle me. Like I said, I've got it all set up. I'll be getting flushed down a giant prop toilet like a goldfish. If I'm going out, I'm going out with a laugh. The comedian takes his final bow, exit stage left, because uh, if there ain't poop logs in heaven, then it ain't heaven. Yeah. Flush me down, Captain. I'm ready to go. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Bye, everyone.